Hello and welcome to Your Thoughts is Your Wealth TV. I'm happy to see you here today. I'm going to show you how you can use um, Office to do what you need to do without having to worry about paying annual subscription. So what I'm going to show you is a program called LibreOffice. So if you go to Google, type in LibreOffice and make sure you are on the LibreOffice website and then you can download it for your PC, for Mac, for MacBook. This is on my MacBook Pro um, and on your laptop. OK, so let's dive straight into it. Once you download it and install it, then you will be and open it. You will be on this page. OK, if you have any problem, just leave um, um, leave a comment for me and I'm more than happy to help you sort it out. So the first one here is writer document. That's the word MS word equivalent. And this one is calc spreadsheet. That is um, Excel equivalent. And then you have the impress presentation. That is your PowerPoint um, equivalent. And then you have the base database, which is equivalent to access database. But I don't use that um, um, a lot. What I use mainly, and I know what most people use, is Word and Excel. So let's just open this up and see. Now look at it. This is the Word. Tell me what's the difference. I've heard um, on some some people saying, "Oh, because this is free, uh, it will be full full or up with adverts." There is no ad, man. I've been using this and I haven't seen any ad. It's been very clean and clear and it does the job. So I'm saying, oh, um, because it's free, um, it might be full of bugs. There is no bug, man. I haven't seen any bug. I've been using it. I save my file. I open it uh, with Word if I need to and it's been working perfectly okay. So, and then some people say, oh, um, if I use it, um, the font might be different. Well, what I do, because if you're writing anything official, maybe your CV or a letter or anything, the the main um, font that most people use, which I use, is Arial, which you have here. So if you use Arial here or Times New Roman, which is somewhere down here, okay, Times New Roman. If you use the font that is here, like Times New Roman and Arial, when you go to your office, it will open it perfectly without any problem. Quote me on that. <laughs> yeah. So you have everything, you know, to save um, paragraph, your point, how if you want to make it bold, smaller ones, or bold or italics or underline, everything everything <clears throat> paragraph um, align left align center align right uh, justify everything so i can't i can't even see anything different rather i see some additions things that i have we have here that is not on word okay so but the thing i have to uh, stress is when you save in once you finish let's say let me just say um testing document okay and then we go to save so it's quite important that when you're saving just choose word 2010 to 365 document dot docx yeah so if you save it with this extension then you don't have any problem at all opening it yeah or better still you can set it up so that this dot docx is the is the default so that's your default anytime you, you're saving anything it goes that on default so that's something that you have to be aware of because if not if you save it on the default which is dot odt then word won't be able to open it probably that's where people run into problem and then they say oh it doesn't work no it does work you just need to um look at this so that's something very, very important that's going to save you some money. And um, um, let's have a quick look on the on the Excel on the Excel part of it. Now, Calc spreadsheet. That's the Excel. Yeah. Let's double click it, and it will open. Now look at it. 
it's just the same there is no difference you know everything is here the the font uh, if you want to arrange ascend, an ascending order or descending order sorting your stuff or uh, just align alignments and everything you know and even this border which I is one of the things I love in the old Excel. I think it was Excel 97 or something like that. But I, I don't, I'm not sure it's still on the Excel, but they have it here where you can just, you know, put in all the borders at the same time and then choose which one you don't want, which is a, it's a function that I like so much and they have it here. Okay. Um, so, and I'm just going to repeat like the before, if you want to save when you're saving, and you just click on save save us remember remember to save it as an excel document okay excel excel 2007 to 365 that's dot xlsx once you save it with this extension then you got got no problems at all you can open it with Excel anywhere, anytime. So remember to do that. Or better still, you can set it up. If you want, know, want to know how to do that, let me know on the comment section below and I will do a separate video on proper usage of this program. Okay? This is something that I have found and I, I believe that you find value from it and it will save you, you know, some good, good money. So remember when you are saving your $79.99 every year, remember me, okay? <laughs> just just joking. Yeah, so this is what I found. And uh, remember to like and um, share and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos because we are looking at ways to help you to save money, to help you in your personal finance and anything that we find we share it straight away on this channel so you don't want to miss that at all you don't want to miss that at all so make sure you like you share and you subscribe my name is mc jonas i'm the author of your thought is your wealth seven keys to unlock your hidden treasures an amazing book that is you know personal development book that is will help you to bring out the best in you because i know that you have great gifts and talents that god has given you and we just need you to bring it out to help humanity. So the link of the book is in the description below. The book is available on Amazon.com and Amazon.co.uk. There is a video coming up here now. Click on the video. It's related to what we're doing here. And I will see you in the video. Thank you so much and have a great time. Bye.